Tonight, a new law is set to upend an entire way of life for many immigrants in Florida. One of them is Jesus, a farm worker for 18 years. He left Mexico searching for work and a better life. But now, as one of Florida's estimated 775,000 undocumented immigrants, he faces an incredibly difficult decision, either leave or wait until the state forces him to. Telling me he'll work as long as he can here until it's time to grab his stuff and go back to Mexico, adding he has no idea what is going to happen. He's in limbo because Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed a law as a way to crack down on employers that are hiring undocumented workers. requiring them to use an online database to verify legal status, banning local governments from issuing IDs to the undocumented, and requiring hospitals that accept Medicaid to ask patients about their immigration status, the moves creating panic. What the law has created is an environment of fear where people believe, you know, that they are at risk. Studies show immigrants make up 35% of Florida's booming construction industry, but we don't know how many of those are undocumented, while an estimated 47% of the people working Florida fields are undocumented. The Florida Policy Institute estimating losing those workers could mean an economic loss of nearly $13 billion per year and a drop of 10% of the state's total workforce. Fidencio is one of the many migrant workers here in the farming community of Homestead, and he says the consequences of the law will be felt by everyone like him. He says DeSantis is going to be breaking up families, and it's up to God what happens. happens next. It's something even Florida's business leaders are worried about. The people in charge of massive infrastructure projects like Daniel Conci, whose company is tasked with developing the new Miami World Center, a 27-acre, $4 billion project, a worksite employing as many as 15,000 workers. And it's not just in construction. You're going to see it in all types of service industries. I have a friend that owns a chain of restaurants. He says uh, half of his staff is, is leaving. Conci says new immigration reform is needed to fix the problem. At the end of the day, you wouldn't have the illegal immigration problem if you didn't have a lot of people that were facilitating this in our country. The governor's office telling NBC News, SB 1718 counteracts the effects of illegal immigration in Florida, adding any business that exploits this crisis by employing illegal aliens instead of Floridians will be held accountable. But advocates looking out for those migrants and Florida's economy say the new law will be a devastating blow to Florida's crucial industries. A lot of these businesses in the agriculture industry are going to have to grapple with the idea of closing shop. Not too many people are in line for those jobs. So... Uh, there's going to be a big void. Governor DeSantis, who's running for president, sees the immigration law as a blueprint for the entire country. We've established here in Florida a blueprint for success that, that other states can follow. Leaving the path ahead for Jesus and others just like him unclear as they hope to find a new home where they can build a new life. And Gua joins me now from Miami. So Gua, what options do these folks have on the table now that this law is going to affect in just a few hours? Well, Lindsay, some of them can stay in the state of Florida. You know, they have been working in the state of Florida illegally. To be clear, it isn't legal to work anywhere in the U.S. for anyone that is undocumented. And uh, the guys I spoke with, both um, Jesus and Fidencio, told me, you know, there's ways to find work where maybe they don't ask for documents and we can still stay here. So they can stay and wait and see how this plays out, see if the state will be able to enforce these new laws, or they can move to another state. Again, they would still be working illegally somewhere else. The difference is other states have not chosen to crack down on employers because, let's be clear here, elephant in the room in the U.S., when you look at the workforce, agriculture industry, service industry, and construction industry, they depend on undocumented workers, and it's been like that for many years. So we'll have to wait and see what happens in Florida and what type of enforcement can be done by the state once this law begins, Lindsay. Hmm. All right.
U.S. Well, today, July 1st, more than 200 new laws went into effect across Florida, ranging from immigration to permitless carry of firearms to who can use a bathroom. The laws have their fair share of supporters and opponents. News Channel 8's Stacey De Silva explains. Activists gathered in St. Petersburg to rally against several laws going into effect Saturday, as well as other changes that have already been made to Florida law. They say now is the time to rise. A few days before Independence Day, these protesters say freedom in Florida is in question. Floridians across the state woke up a little less free today. The Freedom March and People's Gathering in St. Petersburg was intended to fight back against Florida's new immigration law, which cuts social services for undocumented immigrants and creates harsher penalties for knowingly transporting or hiring those without proper paperwork. The incentives to come illegally in Florida have been dealt with. Another new law in effect Saturday bans the use of a publicly owned bathroom or locker room that does not align with a person's sex at birth. A woman should not be in a locker room having to worry about someone from the opposite sex being in their locker room. Is everyone angry? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But are we ready to do something about it? Activists we spoke with Saturday say these laws, as well as abortion restrictions, are taking freedoms away. Since it is uh, July 4th weekend, um, a lot of folks are thinking towards independence, and yet we've had a number of laws come down that erode and attack our freedoms as Floridians. This event in St. Petersburg was a part of statewide Freedom for All protests.